welcome back again to my channel thank you so much for clicking to watch this video i really appreciate if you are new to this channel you're seeing my beautiful face for the very first time hello my name is rejoice please consider subscribing to this channel turn on the post notification bell to all like this video share with friends and families and leave your comments in the comment section after watching this video in today's video i'll be giving you a tour of one of the places that you need to visit if you find yourself in aqua ibom cut abase to be precise i'll be checking you through women war memorial in ikot abase ladies and gentlemen boys and girls okay let's go in The Women's War Memorial Museum was created in remembrance of the Abba Women's Riots, which took place during the British colonization of Nigeria from November to December 1929. The museum play host to sculptures and paintings that, that depict the war and account of the townspeople. It was built by Senator Ellen, Senator representing Akwaibom State in April 2011 to 2015. Brief summary of Aba Women's Riots. This was an era of unrest in the then British colonized Nigeria. This protest was led and formulated by the indigenous women of Oweri and Calabar regions. The demonstration occurred when thousands of women of Igbo origin from the Bende region, Umaya, and other regions in the southeastern region made the trip to Oloko. The cause of this movement was due to the worry that a new taxation plan was being implemented that would demand women, most especially widows, to pay taxes which they were not mandated to pay earlier on. Uh -uh. Oh, women they fight to see men, men they men men they run. <laughs> The map below shows the important places of the old Okbobod region, the station, bank, and factory. Back to the story. The first incident accounted for was when a woman named Unwan Yerua was met by a tax inspector, Mark. She was expected to obey the program, which she profusely refused to do. They both got into a heated argument, which led to Mark attempting to struggle her. Owen Yerua made a grievance known to the women at a meeting which was being aired at Oloko Town. Coincidentally, the new scheme was the point of discussion at the meeting, numbering about 10,000. The women marched to the office of Warrant Chief Okugo, where they made their grievance known. They also requested for his immediate resignation and called for his trail. This marked the starting point of the women's defense to the new taxes. The protest comprised women from six ethnic tribes, namely Ibibio, Boni, Okobo, Andoni, Ogoni, and Igbo. It was coordinated by indigenous women of Oweri and Calabar provinces. A major strategy used in the movement was what was called sitting. This is a practice long held by women which were used against men who degraded women and who were fighting against injustice in the society. <laughs> Oh, this is an example of British pound that we were spending in those days. This is the first currency in Nigeria. Yes. Oh my God. And that is that the women come up to everything. All the policemen, they want to make a job. This is one penny and... Uh, oh. I wish we are still spending uh, pounds though. In Nigeria? Yes, now. Nah. Why would Nigeria be spending pounds? It's stronger. Let's forget the fact that, okay, it is not of our country. Okay, look at Naira now. Naira is very useless. <laughs> this is uh, the warriors, the women. Oh my God, see them. Eloquence, strong, bold, confidence. Just name it, and they are gorgeous at the same time. 
the women converted traditional methods for networking and expressing disapproval into capable instruments that effectively challenged and disorganized the local colonial rule the women's movement was the largest the colonial states had ever witnessed in any part of africa this led to increase in the position of women in society some regions got to have women appointed as warrant chiefs after the dust had to on, on the women's riots the move laid the foundation for more revolutionary moves which include increase in women's movement in ngwa land most especially in 1930s 1940s and 1950s also the protest of tax in 1938 the protest aired in 1940s due to the oil mill in oweri and calabar regions the 1956 tax revolts in abba and onicha this is another beautiful frame of women look at how gorgeous Ibibio coastal dance is a gift from this region to Nigeria as a country. They are colorful attire, ornamentation and body adornments uniquely complement their rhythmic dance step characterized by graceful body swing. Oh. And uh, moving on, let's check yes. another frame. This is another frame that is speaking about primarita wedding dance. Back to the story. It was not easy for women. There were two instances where British district officers were involved and soldiers were made to despise the protesters. This led to the shootings which led to at least 50 women were killed and another 50 were wounded. The movement goes by many names. Aba Women's Riot of 1929, Aba Women's War, the Aba Women's Market Rebellion of 1929. The most accepted title is the Abba Women's Riot of 1929 because it was recorded by the name in the British colonial records. And the memorial comprises the roll call of women who died during the protest. Human wears. Slave trade was booming economic activities everywhere the practice was entrenched and the old Okobo region was a famous route where all the slaves from the old eastern region must need to pass through to the waiting slave ship that took them wherever their fate led them. Hmm. This is another sculpture, mats weaving. Raffia palm was of a great value to the people of the old Opobo region who weaved them into mats, thatched roofs, and several other items of value. Yeah. This is another frame of domestic life. While the men were engaged in fishing and farming and away from their thatched roofed mud houses, the women of the old Okobo region dominated in the domestic life, assisted by the girls and other children, all wearing their famous MK pork, Ibibio hairstyle, with wrappers around their waist and chest, while the younger children play around the house naked, except for the beads they wore around their waist. And this is the labor of our ants. May our labor not go in vain. Our labor will not go in vain. The labor of our ants. Success isn't just in working and laboring to produce a product. It is going all the way in protecting it and getting the fruits, therefore. The fetni ceremony for girls of about 40 years of age who are getting ready for marriage usually they are confined to a fitney house where special care was given to them as they went through a process of preparation nutrition adornments purification and so on based on the weight of the family of the girl this ceremony was a dominant practice among the people <laughs> and chopping life is important oh my God. yeah that's true The Lord Lugard House is a one-story cottage where Lord Lugard lived at the time of amalgamation. This is point of no return. Mm. 
We will try and visit this place. No, I'm not only now. Is it? German Bridge. Yes. This is German yes. Bridge. Yes. And the bridge was being built during the colonial era about 1902 and reconstructed yes. by the same German in 2002, which are about 100 years after being reconstructed. Wow. This is farm canel oil, farm fruits, a major ingredient in the production of soap is found in this region in commercial quantity this makes the region a hub for european merchants during the colonial era this is boat yard boat building yard was established in Egwanga by the Department of Commerce and Industry on a site formerly occupied by the United African Company. Yes, money, this is it. Boat yard. Mm. I read about this man in sociology, Sir Lord Frederick. Dying to live. We live to die and we die to live. The women of the den. Oh, forget it. We still live to die and die to live now, honestly. <laughs> this is actually reality. This is our reality, even now. That's what I believe, though. Mm. Palm produce exportation. The people of the then Okobo district were heavily involved in exportation of palm produce, which attracted many Europeans to, to trade the with them even as they in turn benefited from the jewelries they bought from the Europeans. Role set is being taught in sociology, and I'm proud to be a sociologist, even though the women of then, yeah. blah blah blah, mm -hmm. engaged in many economic activities. But, Yet, mm -hmm. their domestic responsibilities as wives and mothers were never negatively affected in any way. Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> They learn to avoid every excuse for domestic irresponsibility and became the prize jewels their husband beheaded all time. Oh, wow. <laughs> hey, beautiful people! It was really nice touring Women War Memorial. I feel so inspired by all the stories I've read so far, and I feel like. We women, we are stronger than the way we know. Because reading all those stories, I just feel like, okay, this is just a discovery. They were not built that way, but in the long run, they were able to unfold different things about themselves, which I really want to tell you, make sure to always unfold something new about you, your work, and everything in between. Anyway, we've come to the end of this video. I hope you really enjoyed watching. If you did, please hit the like button, subscribe to this channel, and leave your comments. Let me know what you think about this video. And please, I beg you, help me to share with at least 10 people on your contacts okay thank you and don't forget to check out susan adike she's behind the camera okay and i'll see you guys in my next one bye on to the next we are strong than we think i am stronger than i think <laughs> <laughs>